everyone welcome to Insane Gyros javelin edition it's been a very interesting couple weeks of flying testing understanding the machine we are always flying since the very beginning at full capacity of weight on the the manuals and under the regulations the the main purpose of this is to really understand the capabilities of the machine not just to see if it's flying good or bad this is to understand all the parts and after all these tests we kind of disassemble and we check the parts the interior parts that we cannot check on the normal uh, visual part let's put it this way uh, all the information about the machine it will be in our website uh, performance tables and everything that we are learning from the machine uh, it will be available for you plus the videos that we are recording that is uh, is part of our philosophy as an air gyro as a producer uh, to provide the, the 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 real data the, the the truth about the machine what you can do and what you cannot do for now what i can tell you is an amazing machine uh space is is the key word here uh it is the it's a game changer to have uh, to have the capacity to carry backpacks to if you are to uh, if you're 220 pounds pilot and you want to fly with more things you can do it it will take a little bit more runway we have the the table that can tell you if you are in this density altitude and if you're in utah for example uh, and it's summer how long how much runway you will use and so on how much you can climb for now all the information and thanks to rotax and the power of the uh, uh, 915 IS model they give us plenty of power to to be able to load and to to fly safety in all these conditions in such a big frame um, what we're going to do today is a couple maneuvers to understand the flare to understand the the high rate descents with a not much load and with full load that's what we're doing so the next thing that you will see in those videos is all the process of building, the, all the process of testing and you can have an amateur experimental kit, something you can build at your home and you can fly around, it's, it's designed, the kits are designed to make it easier under the regulations, on the, on the FAA regulations for the 51%. You can build it, we have builders assistance, we have a lot of information, we have all our network from Texas to California, uh, all the west coast and the east coast. We can provide that service right now, we, we, can, we can send people to, let, to help you in all the procedures. So. Thanks for watching, thanks for being with us in all this process. As I said, it's been a fantastic two weeks of testing and it's been almost six months of understanding what we have to change from the initial uh, uh, prototypes, they, they, from, from, this, from the same model. There is a lot of changings inside to make it safer, to make it more strong and to make it more reliable. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the emails. I will try to answer more of your questions that we have a lot of emails right now and we'll try to answer a lot of questions about the AG915 Javelin that is the first sport utility gyroplane in the market. All right, um, so welcome on board right now. Uh, we are warming up the engine. Um, turbo engines require some temperature on the oil. It's very important to have uh, the right uh, viscosity on the oil. So the, the the manual tell you that you have to take off or you just operate the engine over 50 degrees Celsius. I finished my checklist. I don't know, you wanna see it here? Uh, I finished my checklist and I have also prepared my navigation here. I have um, full navigation and the map around for the for, for the maneuvers we're going to do that, we're, we're going to start uh, recording all this information and it will be for the engineers to understand you know, up and down there are some small sensors we put in the tunnel, in the mast, uh, if you can see some of the cables around here. Um, uh, today uh, we're going to do some maneuvers, uh, we're going to blow the, the rotor, we did it with the full weight, we have full fuel, we have big, sorry, we have big ballast also. Here I'm alone today, 
And I'm going to explain a little bit more about the AG915 Javelin. Uh, we redesigned this machine there is from the first prototype that they built here uh, to this one. There's a lot of changes, inter in internal changes on the control of the systems. We we figure out we when we start building it we we find a lot of things that are not working that are a little bit dangerous so do we just redesign the, the engineering team of Air Gyro International did a magnificent job so this is what we're doing right now um, uh, what else I can tell you right now um, is uh, is a wonderful machine. Uh, the, the, the way we redefine it is the sport utility gyroplane and I think uh, we, we got it. We, I don't think we got it. We got a machine that can allow you to to carry staff, to take off with some loads. I mean normally if you're in the United States the pilot and the passenger we, we try to achieve that you will fly safely with 220 pounds. For example if you're a pilot and, and, and you have 220 pounds, you would be fine to fly in this machine. Um, back country is something that many people ask about in all these years. As I said, this the, the redefining of this machine is uh, is the result of many years of feedback from Air Gyro Aviation with all the feedback that I have dealing with clients, dealing with customers, teaching gyroplanes. They always want space. Now we got space. Uh, not for four people. I mean, if you can see, I don't know, it's a little bit irresponsible if somebody said that you can put four people, I don't know how they're going to deal with the, with the, with, with, with the seat belts and how are you going to evacuate. One of, the, one of the main reasons to put more people is the evacuation, right? If you land, if you crash. I don't know how you can put four people here. It's a little bit irresponsible to say. So it's not a four four passengers uh, aircraft at all, at all. I mean, it doesn't make any sense in the future. What we're doing here is, is to pad the, the way to the future. These models will evolve with what we do and we have a roadmap. And, and the fact that by now we have a really easy to build machine, friendly to fly, uh, with space that you can understand the machine when you do the flying process, when you get all together and you can start testing. I, I know it takes a little bit more time than when you when you uh, buy it fully built, but the fact that you will be the owner and the operator and everything about you when you build the machine, you get really really good um, information about what you what you have to do if something is not right, if something is wrong. So. Um, Anyway, we are 46, we're ready to go. We're gonna put some radio here. We're gonna listen the frequency. Every time you get into the frequency, you have to wait a couple seconds to make sure that nobody's talking. And not interrupt someone. All right, so we're, we're ready to go. I'm going for the taxi checklist. Start procedure is done, engine start, all in green. Idle fuel pressure is checked, 3.3. All right, taxi naps not apply, right use sound transponder not apply, taxi area is clear, parking brake will be released, and we're gonna use a little bit of throttle, so we're gonna call the guys. Theatrical radio, morning, uh, gyroplane, uh, Sierra Papa, Zulu Alpha Bravo Lima. Zulu Alpha Bravo Lima, Moses Kovac, Alpha I didn't get that. Um, I don't understand the last communication. I request taxi by Alpha for uh, operating runway 21 for less traffic. Roger, I understand that clear for taxi Alpha and we'll contact on holding point uh, 21. Bravo Lima. All right, so that's a little bit weird. But this airport is a non-controlled airfield, but there is a, there is a lot of uh, students around here, so what they do is trying to coordinate, not to make something wrong happen. Uh, although I'm not required to follow any orders in a non-controlled airfield, but they're trying to do their best. I, I appreciate that, it's fine for me. All right. Let's check the brakes. All right, checks the brakes. We're with the squishy. 
But they, they normally have like kick, 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 squishy brakes, squishy brakes. And, um, uh, when they're new. So there is two aircraft in the pattern, I do understand, but I don't feel comfortable to talk. I'm just going to keep doing it in English. And, well, we are a cow, so English is completely um, fine to, to use it. I will not talk in Spanish for now. Those close pilot secure. They just fin in the before takeoff checklist. Pedals check, brakes check, uh, taxi speed, and we're good to go. We're gonna do, we're gonna perform the. Alright. Close, both pumps are on, trims are neutral. I'm gonna put this here, it's really handy, this clip. So you can move my head without, you know, there we go. All right, we have temperature. We're going to check our new settings here. Oh, this is so good. You see, one hand operation, and that's it. Now it's really, really easy to do it. We're going to check our controls. Right. Sierra Fox India, możesz podchodzić na 2.1 i startować. Uh, the takeoff procedures, as I said, they're memory items, so you have to study those ones. The flight controls, you see, click the pre rotation, the 200 on the pre rotation, then release pre rotation. Go full back on the stick, full power, or just start putting power. If you're not too heavy, you start putting gentle, 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 gentle power until you the nose pop up. You just retreat a little bit with the with the with, with the control just to release the, the, the nose and then release it's on, on all gyroplanes you just lower the nose a little bit to re reduce so much track as soon as you're in the air you go to the second phase of the of the takeoff you just accelerate and then you go to by or to bx depends of what you need all right theatrical radio gyrocopter bravo lima uh, ready to line up and hold runway 21 for left traffic so this is like, yeah, you can go to line up and hold and, and take off. So in the meantime, we're going to start putting pressure on our pre rotation. So we're just on waste time. If you're in the United States, remember, it's important to tell that you are going to have a small delay for pre rotation if you're flying a gyroplane. Very important because they cannot see you. All right. All right. The rotation will be engaging. All right. I'm gonna move a little bit this here. All right, the rotation engage. We're gonna go to our navigation right now. Rotation handle is full, RPMs are rising, very nice, temperatures and pressure are fine. Now we can help with the engine to speed up the process. 140, 150, we go 10 degrees back a little bit. 160, 170.
320 on the rotor. We just let the machine go. We're gonna trim a little bit. Oh, we don't need too much trim today. Jacko z radio seriowy z Fianki, lewy 2, 1 z wiatrem. Sierały z Fianki, jeden kas głoś prostą 2, 1 z poniskim. To duży, zgłoszę prostą 2, 1, sierały z Fianki. Przyjąłem kasko w radio, dziękuję. Alright, battles are really good. Gonna go behind all the guys. Issues here. There we go. We don't need so much power. So it's tons of power with this one. Although we are pretty bit, a little bit heavier. A bit of of, of feedback on the rotor. So we're gonna need to put that dynamite. Theatrical radio, helicopter Bravo Lima is behind the traffic, the second traffic on left downwind for runway 21. Sierra Bravo Lima, zgłoś prostą, 21, zwróć uwagę, dwa samoloty oprócz ciebie. Copy that. 13 the pattern, we are number 3 and we will contact on final for a touch and go. Bravo Lima. Ticket to radio, Lima Fox of India, stretching to 21. Sierra Fox of India, kolejność 2, zgłoś prostą 2, 1. Dwójka zgłoś prostą, Sierra Fox of India. With a little bit of trim, it's trying to trim it. There you go. There's a good thing about these machines, they stay in the moment you, you leave it. We're barely using the controls today. kilometers per hour, we're 60 knots and we're not even pushing, we're like like 4,300 on the, on the engine and we're like um, there's a little bit of turbulence as you see outside, it's, it's pretty windy today, but we barely feel it. Alright, we're going to do some pedals section here. We're going to do the turn only with pedals. There you go. Now we're in base. Radio, uh, Bravo Lima, prosto 21. Bravo Lima, możesz lądować na 21. Clear for it, 21, touch and go. Lądowanie 
I'm, I'm, I'm still struggling a little bit with the Polish language. Such a beautiful language, but it's pretty complex. All right, we're going to make a highway descent here. Just going to cut the engine. Uh, these rotors actually they hold a lot of inertia. They're, they're a little bit heavier, but they actually hold a lot of inertia. I'm gonna return here, recover with engine a little bit far away. Fill it, and then we're gonna do some maneuvers on top if if if, if it's practical. The thing is, I, I want to do some maneuvers, but the other guys are not speaking, and I don't want to interfere with the with the traffic. Remember, I'm a guest around here, so you have to respect that thing. All right, four thousand and three hundred and. 40, 343 on the rotor is really good. Wants to go, there is some turbulence here. <laughs> Remove a little bit of the trim, apparently we don't need that much. Alright, let's go, let's go to the center. Let's try to do the touchdown beside the guys from the camera. It's important also to mention before you start commenting there is feedback because we haven't done the Dynavibe on the machine and the rotor thinks in the rotor have three moments the static balance, the dynamic balance, and the moment that I call the marriage with the machine. As soon as you put the rotor on any machine, the rotor have to complement to get inside of the to get it to to get to the to the machine to, to the weight of the machine. So you have to redo it. And there is a system called Dynavibe that is we're using with two sensors. We're gonna use it later on. Before that, we need to make sure that everything is flying fine. And that's because you see some some small feedback. Although when I when I hold it with my hand, still there is a little bit of feedback. That's what we want to remove. But as you see, it's a well balanced machine. angle of climb that is 100 with this weight. Very good, just keep climbing. And I'm not even using all the power. Oscar Kilo Tango Uniform Alpha 6.5 Oscar Kilo Tango Uniform Alpha 6.5 Very good, on the fifth side. Good radio. Bravo Lima, Biatrakowiec. Biatrem, Mendes, Bajer. Sierra Bravo Lima, kolejność 3, zgłoś prostą 2-1. 
numer 7, kolejna i kontaktuje prosto 27 na prawo lipce. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what I'm saying, but it's weird for me. I, I, I learned the, the basics one, and I understand that's part of the safety procedures when you fly around here. You go to small, to school, to have some hours. And you know, so. All right, we can go to base here. The guys, is, um, I'm pretty slow over there. I'm not, I'm not pushing the machine. Brawo Lima, Piatra Kowiec, prosto odpaziamy. Piatra Kowiec, możesz podchodzić, Fox Kilo, zajmuj pas i Fox India, skoły w brawo. Kapitan. India. No, Sierra Fox Kilo zajmujemy i startujemy, jak kolega zwolni od razu. Daj go. We have time, so the other guy can take off perfectly. gentle vertical speed minus 300 feet per minute we just keep it nice and easy there you go he's on the run 40 RPMs, these rotors are amazing, let me tell you. get some nice shots. Plenty of speed and power, even with this weight, it's very good. It will be interesting to, to test it in high, um, in low density altitudes. That's something we, we should test it, definitely. Although the calculations were good to go, the takeoff roll will be longer. It will be not 170 uh, meters. Thank you, pushing. Uh, with 
less than 100 kilometers per hour. Is, uh, we're talking about 26 knots ground speed. We have 600 beats per minute in climb. That's not bad. Uh, not even the full power. 30 knots and 670, 700 feet per minute. The response on the machine is really good also, you see on the camera. A very good response on the controls, very maneuverable. Again, the pedals in these machines in all these areas is amazing what you can do with the pedals. You really can scare someone when you do these kind of maneuvers. It's amazing what you can do with these machines, definitely. So well designed. Merci beaucoup. Piatrakov Radio, Piatrakov, it's Bravo Lima, it's Piatrem, Levo Piatrem, Budget. Piatrakov, it's Bravo Lima, Kolejno i Zbaz, Głoś Prosto 2.1. Numero 2, kontaktuje Prosto 2.1. I hope we're recording this. This is like the like first time that I talk in Polish. I'm so proud of, of me. Because normally my Polish is very good in profanity. I'm fluent in Polish profanity. Um, you have no idea. So let me explain you a little bit what we have here in the, um, in the, in the trims. Uh, they're manual trims because we're recording the, 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 the amount of pressure inside, the amount of pressure and the amount of length we're gonna need to different weights. Um, that's really important to have that information. So when you operate the automatic ones, because we have automatic ones for like electrical ones, we have only two axes, pitch up and roll left, because we will have the weight here, the big weight here, right? So. This is, um, as soon as we get this information, we just calibrate it. So that's because I'm just playing with these ropes here. All right, we're number two for landing. To take off and landing, we're gonna do Touch and go, and then a small maneuver. Stop. Piotr of Radio, Sierra Papa Lima, Fosco Kilo. Proszę do Pasa 21, Konwoyer. Sierra Fosco Kilo, możesz rozdawać start 21. Startuje, startuje, Sierra Fosco Kilo. small inputs in this machine, very small inputs, it's very maneuverable, but it, it stays, that's what I like about these machines, they, they actually stay, they don't need too much pressure on, on, on the controls, they actually stay where, they, where you want it, if you see them, um, I don't know if in this camera is, 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 is visual, they're, they're barely touching the controls, it's a really nice platform, so it's one of the designs of these machines, one of the things that we want to, that I want to design, if you saw the other videos on how we developed, is this thing, is be a platform in the air with two people, with the cameras, and you can move this, you can have all the information, even if you fly later, if you fly for the police department right now, now we can offer a real machine, a real, it's not a toy, this is not a toy anymore. This is strong, this is really, he I mean, it's, 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 you can have loads, you can put the cameras, you can put two cameras if you want to with different spectrums, and you can actually provide a real support for the, for the, for the ground personnel. Piotrakov Radio, Piotrakov, it's Bravo Lima, Prosto, Tvaje. 
Let's do some maneuver. Keep it 1,000. Yeah, protocol radio, uh, airplane Bravo Lima. We're gonna. I'm going to perform a 360 uh, precision approach on top of the runway. Uh, right turn. Now that we have time here, Alright, the good thing about these windows is I can see my target when I'm going to perform these kind of maneuvers. There we go. Let's do it. So full on the on the pedals. Radio Sierra, Papa Lima, Fox of Kilos, got them 11 to try it then. Lima, Fox of Kilos, go straight to try it then, like we didn't catch. I think I'll go straight to try it then, Sierra, Fox of Kilos. Alright, vertical speed 1,600 feet per minute on the, on the GPS. Remember, we're cold, we have good wind, and we have high pressure, so that's good. All right, 20 knots, 600 feet for me. All right. All right, guys. That's, I'm going to let you right now enjoy the view. I'm not going to talk anymore, now that I'm talking in Polish. Polishing my Polish. So, dziękuję bardzo. I do widzenia.